Things are moving fast in Washington. We begin tonight with what would be the second impeachment of President Donald Trump. Today, Democrats in the U.S. House of Representatives introduced one article of impeachment against the president. They're charging President Trump with incitement of insurrection in urging his supporters to march on the U.S. Capitol last week. Democrats also introduced a resolution that calls on Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove President Trump from office. Republicans sidelined that resolution, but the full House will hold a roll call vote on it tomorrow. A House vote on the article of impeachment is expected on Wednesday. So what would a second impeachment mean, and what are the consequences? Will Uick spoke with several experts tonight to provide some context. We have never had a president impeached twice. It's never happened before, and with less than two weeks left in President Trump's administration, what exactly does that mean? Those who favor impeachment are not doing it really to remove President Trump from office because he will be removed from office anyway. Experts in political science and constitutional law say that contrary to memes and internet shares, if President Trump is impeached again and convicted, that doesn't exclude him from running for office again, unless Congress holds an additional vote to stipulate that. You need the Senate to reconvene for a simple majority vote. Uh, on top of the removal vote, which would allow him uh, to be banned from office. Other rumors circulating say President Trump could lose his pension or Secret Service detail via impeachment. Again, it all needs context. Under the former President's Act, a president is entitled to an office and a staff and a pension and lifetime protection from the Secret Service, all funded by the taxpayers once he leaves office. However, if President Trump were to be impeached and convicted, he would not get any of those perks except for one. He still would be entitled to Secret Service protection for life. No matter the potential consequences, all three say impeachment and conviction is a long shot, but it's more about symbolism. And a lot of this is having a formal determination that what Donald Trump did finally crossed a line. The sole motivation of anyone in office uh, is to be reelected. Will Uick, 3 News.